just gonna run by. Don't bother. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take my things and leave. And it hurts to know that you belong here. Yeah. Uh, uh. No one to call. Everybody is here. Can you follow me up the stairs? Let's find out. Oh, you can climb stairs. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, this guy probably kills you the most. Hard to ju judge the pogo hop when you need to counter. Definitely. Especially because it's much faster than most of their other uh, burst attacks like that. Like his grab attack takes at least twice as long as that one. His grab red thingy burst, whatever you want to call it. Alright, got that ladder down. There. Just gonna fall right on in and pos almost die. Well, not almost die, but you know what I mean. I really shouldn't. I fling him. Buys an Uchi Katane. Go by. Ow. God. Alright, well. I'm dead. Somehow the scout cuirass is still the, the strongest chest piece I have. Enemy sensor. Well, that would be useful if it weren't for the fact that I kind of already figured out where everything is here. Target. Easy target would be useful if I were playing with someone else, but since I'm not, it's kind of useless. Lightning resistance and toughness. Speeds up Kai recovery when you are at max health. That would be useful. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, there we go. Oh, cool, I do have a skill. Interesting. That is going to make us 
much more possible. Gotcha. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. I'll take that. All right, follow me over here. Wait from the fire. Come on, come on, over here. Gotcha. Dude, you had all this purple stuff and I didn't get nothing from you. Not even the fun purple stuff either, like the stuff you can find in a, in a refrigerator next to Sunny G. Like the Inkai and the Oni, at the least you can take advantage of breaking their horns for easy damage, while the blacksmith demon don't remember their name, and the Kinku are always the bane of your existence. The only way you could figure out how to deal with them was overwhelming power. Put on all the buffs and give them all the debuffs. That reminds me of the blacksmith demon. In the boss room, at here, up over there, I noticed that when I destroyed a pillar or something, or when he destroyed a pillar, a thing of fire popped down, or a thing of water popped down and spilled on him and did damage to him. Don't know how much damage, but interesting it's of interest to note that and now I'm curious if I can't replicate that and what will it do to him hello there you mother fucker dude why do you hit so hard and so fast compared to other demons. That is a different monster. Wait, which one? God, the Twilight mission involving that dude made me made you quit because you ran out of elixirs. Twilight. Oh. Took a second for me to remember what Twilight missions were. And now that I know, oh god, I do not like that knowledge. There we go. Great way to take you out you guys out quickly. Run away. Run away. Cat, yeah, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up, wake up. We've got a city to burn. Is he just hopping away? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's coming back. Interesting. What the? And then there's that asshole up there who keeps throwing bones at me, even though he should be well out of range. God. Mm. Oh, the demons with the hammer, swords, with the pogo hop is what you were talking about. Yes, exactly, because they are the biggest pain in my ass. And even though it said at the very beginning of the game, I do not have to fight every single enemy here, I am going to fight every single enemy here. Fuck off, I don't have time for you. What the fuck was that? 
Nope, nope. Thanks, asshole. Good thing that I have antidotes. Gotcha. Out of the way. I've got a cat to find. Come on. You missed. Ow. That is such bullshit. But the Inera, the Inera, the in 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 -ra, the smoke monster that's here. Oh boy, it's a nightmare even on normal levels. True. Kind of. Because I, when I fought it, it didn't feel that hard compared to some other stuff. That could just been me, and I got really lucky. Because, well. Could have gotten lucky, that's all I can say. Now, here's the important question. How the hell do I get up here? Up to these houses. Or in them. Kind of crazy because in normal Japanese monster, it's actually a wholesome yokai. Interesting. That is something I did not know. Fuck off. Oh, I did not know about this place. Or you guys. Motherfuckers. God, I hate these guys so much. They're easily the most annoying thing in this whole game. What the hell are you? Hello? Seems as though it wants something. Okay. Um. Oh, right, uh...
Is that what you wanted? Oh, cool. Cool. Now that is not something I was expecting. You could have sworn these weren't things that you threw away. That was kind of cool. Not gonna lie, that was I was not expecting that. Oh, I did open this. Never mind. So it seems that to get the right thing for it, you have to be into death by dweller. Anyways. Basically, you have to look at what it has in its hand. Good to know. You. Screw you. Oh, come on, seriously? There's more of you up here? I gotta be stupid and try and run through the fire and flames? Of course I am. There's something up here that I can grab. I'm gonna risk getting burned to death. And there's nothing up here. Very disappointing. Wait, hang on, there's some guy behind there. I don't know how you can be resting so close to fire, you're, in, you're literally in the fire. So you know, so you know how you fought those umbrella monsters, right? Yeah, I fought them in the first game, I think it's called. I forget what they're called, though. Uh, the original thought was, if an item was left uncared for, it would turn into a monster. Silicon practiced to burn items that were unused to release the spirit inside. And you had some reports that smoke from the item burned was the Inera saying their final goodbye to the owner before moving on to the afterlife. Dude, that is pretty cool. That is pretty wholesome. I actually kind of like that. Man, that's actually a really cool story. Or, what do I want to call it? Ow. Well, for a smoke monster telling you to catch these hands. Yeah, true. What are you. Oh. You. Oh, yeah, that is true, because. You know. Things happen. Alright, gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gimme. What's this? Hmm. Art seems to work on a lot of stuff here.
Or be your piece of burden. What the hell is this area? Make the love to me. Okay, I know I've seen. I have not made it through those gates before, and I've been through the cell at least twice now. Before I even started playing this game. You to make the love to me. Will you stop telling me to activate the yokai ability? I already know how to do that. There we are. Alright, back to the shrine with you. Go along now, child. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. Rich enough. How the fuck do we get up there? Pretty, 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 pretty girl. Ah, oh, damn it. You motherfucker. Burn. Me too, apparently. Get out of fire! Get out of fire! Aha, uh -huh, got him. Come on. Gotcha. Hey, buddy. Keep my, keep my house. So how you are An item. And run for the Papa D. Got a lot of Ronin stuff. Ronin. Now we get the bird. This is another one of those dragon uh, got a uh, weapon using guys. It's gonna be slightly annoying. Yep, looks like it is. Seathling Dragon. Uh. Okay, that's definitely a different person unless they found a Shinto priest head here somewhere around here. Use magic to buff a weapon who would have told. Yeah. God. Ooh, hey, that's a lot of purple. Mirror boy. Ow. Throw him. Oh, 
Lies and Odachi, and Longbow. Ooh, wait, hang on. What's that? Another Ochiko cup. That's on Odachi there. Oh, yeah. Or, you mean that's one Odachi there. Or that one's Odachi. Either way, I think I figured out what you mean. There will be reckoning for this. That's what he meant to say earlier. Alright, anyways. A lot more purple right there. Come at me, come at me. End it. Wasn't it supposed to finish saying that? Also, hello, Bubbles. Thank you very much for the stretch and the hydration. Ah. Hope you're doing all right tonight, Bubbles. Do doing well, fairly all right. And howdy, howdy. And that is why you invest in courage so you don't leave gasping for air every time you swing that weapon. Oh, definitely, that's what I'm doing, in fact. But yes, how are you doing tonight, Bubbles? Bubble Fairy. Or however you prefer to be called. So I've noticed that I call you that a lot. Oh, didn't see you here earlier. But yeah, we're back to Neo, or Nio, I think. I have no idea how to say it, to be honest. But... I have been back to it because I was going to finish one level and then get onto Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but... With the way this thing going, I, this may be a mostly Neo stream, if not all Neo. No. I will not step in your paralytic comment. Through that and grab the stuff. Oh, there you are. So you guys keep your guts down for five minutes. Oh, god damn it, you throw bombs. Of course you throw bombs. Why wouldn't you throw bombs? Alright, kick it down. Kick it down. Kick it down. And took out the fire. Hippity hoppy on down. Interesting. Physicus versus Physicus. Who will win? Who will die? Ow. Maybe me. Who dies? I tell you what. Brutal ass. And he's dead. Or she's dead. I don't know. Anyways. Point is, I'm alive and they aren't. Oh, hey, cat. Didn't notice you here earlier. Tell you what, you stay here. I'll be back for you. Who catches these hands first? Basically, yes. And you're doing fine just getting some writing done, and you have a collection of names. Bubbles is fine. The only one who has an issue with that name is Thick for personal reasons. Bubbles Fairy, Bubbles Fairy, Bub, Bubsy, Bubby, Bay, Fairy, Buble. Call me whatever you want as long as you're willing to repeat it in front of your parents. Fair enough. I mean, look, my parents know that I have no filter, so... Meh. And also, I'm surprised I ran through that without getting caught on fire. 
Last time I did that, I did not. All right, get me hoppy on in. Oh, there's no chest in there. All right. Then just be respectful and we're good. Will do. Got to yell. And I hope your riding is going all right tonight. I hope you've been made some decent progress, or at least are not having riders block or burn out. Because I remember when I used to ride a lot more, uh, just stupid stuff for the hell of it. I would get a bit of burnout on my own. Kind of funny though, you'd think trying to be imaginative wouldn't be that hard on your brain until you are trying to come up with an actual good story. It's going fine, it's just script stuff or cat related folklore, fairy tales and mythos stuff. It's like, ooh, that sounds so cool. That You got my attention with that. So how, how far have you gone and where all are you going? More just researching and writing that. Fair enough. I hope that is going interesting, going well, and that sounds very interesting. I love fairy tales and folklore, and mythos as well. I'm kind of uh, into all that stuff. I have no words for it other than what you just used, but I have. Do not see it right now on my on my bookshelf, but I have. A one huge encyclopedia full of all sorts of cat stuff. I mean, not all sorts of cat stuff, and it's full of all sorts of mythology stuff. And it's basically an encyclopedia on three big uh, Western ones. It's uh, the more Welsh one, the Greek mythology, and Norse Norse mythology. Best way I've become imaginative is when I'm driving back and forth to work. <laughs> uh, fair enough, I have so many thoughts when I'm driving to and from from my work. And then, uh, but then when I'm there, I kind of just clear my mind. No thoughts, head empty. And you've got stuff about Freya and her two cats, or is it Freya? Uh, I know, don't know if it's just Freya or if there's like a more accented part on it. Or Freya. Hmm. And more. And you've got more theories and such. And the Yule cat. Sounds, and yes, it very much does sound badass hot rod. That is a very cool sound. Right now you're trying to find some lesser known fairy tale stuff. Ooh, now that is interesting. If you're interested in bouncing any of this stuff off of someone, hit me up. I love this kind of stuff. I just realized, how long have I been going? Because my stream died, like, mid-stream, and now I don't remember how long I was going. Oh, it is, Hot Rod. There's been this idea that Freya and her cats are related to a proto-Greek goddess that little is known about. Interesting. Very interesting. I like the sound of that. Oh, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I have a spirit stone? So I'm just a hop, skip, and a jump away from a level up. I need 80 more of those crystal thingies. Right, well, I know where to get him. Alright, boys. Say hello to my big friend. Oh, don't have that attack on here. Yes. Nope, still don't have it. Gotcha. Alright, let's go see. 
Do I have enough? No, it's not paying attention. And you might. I, you know, there's a version of Puss in Boots where the cat is actually a prince. That's cursed by a troll. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Haven't actually heard of that one, so I'm gonna have to... If I ever see your stuff out there, I'm gonna have to take a look. If you're... Wait, are you publishing or are you just writing to write? No, I do have enough and ready now. Wait, no, not that that. Which one is it? Oh, this is for an upcoming stream you're doing. You're wanting to do a festy. Ooh. Now tell me, does this stream have an have a? Oh, but you said you're wanting to do it, but do you have like a certain time frame in, in mind, or is it just something that you're willing to do that you want to do once you get an idea up or get uh, stuff together? Because I really sound down for that kind of stream. Sitting in and just take a listen. Remember the stream where you went over the various lore, lore for Okami? I think I do. Isn't that the one where we all basically were having a big belly laugh over essentially two siblings got into a scuffle and the brother was so pissed off with his sister or whatever she did that he just shat. <clears throat> took a shit in her garden after destroying everything else and on top of that well like I said oh god yes I remember that one thrown Romo I still think it's hilarious how I forget who pointed out but they could just point it they could just walk up to the priest at that shrine and say, so your shrine is essentially dedicated to the to the legend of how two gods got into such a fight that one essentially decided to shit in the other's garden. And how Westy just summed it up perfectly with his little act, with his acting of it. But, it, uh, yeah. Of how you would, like, basically walk up to one of the priests and, uh, say, so that's what it's how it is, basically. Oh, God, and I. It was so perfect how it lined up. Throw Romo. <sighs> oh, well, yeah. You can't let them through that door no matter what. Hey, well, I don't think that worked out too well for you. Oh, he's on fire. Hello? Hi, here's someone down there. Oh, there he is. He's dead. <laughs> mm. Oh, you. Aha. Just fall. God damn it. 
Stop vomiting on me! Okay, that was handy. You both poisoned me and gave me the cure for said poison. That's not something I knew I could do. Well, unprecedented territory, here we come. Oh, you're already dead. Or you're a NPC summon. Or a uh, battle thingy. Hello? No, you're dead. Or you have no words. Hmm. Completely forgot there were stairs there. It was the story behind the lore of why Amates Therlu, the queen of the gods and the sun goddess, hid herself away in a cave. Susano had been banished by their father because he's impetuous and hot-headed, and he went to go say goodbye to his sister. Really, he went to go challenge her to a contest to stay. He didn't like her reasoning on why she won the contest and threw a fit, trying her land, skinning her favorite horse, and dropping it into her, her craft room while she and her handmaidens were sewing, spinning yarn, and weaving, and he topped it all off by taking a dump in her throne room. We summed it up to that the dump was the final straw and was so bad that she hid herself away in a cave and refused to come out. That's it. That was definitely it. All I remember is, it, I was laughing so hard it actually hurt. My chest actually hurt because I was laughing so hard. Oh, fuck in hell. Well, that's interesting. Didn't know it would actually send me over the edge. But yeah, I did. I couldn't even remember all of those. One of the few times bathroom humor actually made you laugh. <laughs> ah, perfect. Yeah, to be fair, bathroom humor is kind of hit or miss for me too. But I get that. Well, I'm still gonna go get my... Amrita? I was about to say souls, and I was like, no, runes, and then I'm like, no, that's not runes either. This is an Elden Ring, or Dark Souls. Oh, here's... Archer versus Archer. But yeah, similar type of stream you want to do. This time the theme is going to be stories about cats. I'm gonna have to be there, as I love those streams. I love, I love your reading streams, and I especially love it when they're on folklore and such. Oh, he's got again. No set time yet. You want to get your stories and talking points set up. Wait, what? Oh. Ow. Gotcha. No set time yet. You want to get your stories and talking points set up first and then work on scheduling something with Westy. Alright, fair enough. I can definitely understand that because. I have experience with uh, trying to plan too much at once and some things not being ready when they need to be because there is so much on my plate at once. Nope. You missed. You glad to hear that, though you've been struggling to cut down on the Yule Cat one. Mostly because the issue pertains to harvesting fleece and spinning it, and you're trying to not do a huge lesson on how all of that works because it's not a fiber stream. Fair enough. That is that that yeah. Yeah. 
Tan, stop tying. I'm not in Boy Scouts anymore. You don't need to be tying up. Anyways. I can certainly understand how that would uh, turn it into a hassle or a very long story if it's something that is going to be basically explaining a whole process and you really don't need it in there. Ow, fuck. Fine then. This cuts with it. Yeah, if you, uh... Why do I keep hearing what sounds like the very first few chords of, uh... The random encounter music in Skyrim, but then it never goes further than that. It's kind of unavoidable. You're gonna have to do a little bit of one so people understand the work that goes into it and why clothes are so important. Fair, because... Oh boy, it is a process. I have some knowledge on it, and while I do not make clothes yet, I would like to make some eventually, or just for the hell of it, but I do know that it's still a complicated process. Oh god damn it, I now found out how I'm supposed to get over there. Oh god, I missed so much on this, uh... Maybe I'm just above what's triggering it? Maybe. But the bigger question is, why am I hearing the first few chords from us from a song from a completely separate game in this game? Hello there. But yeah, it's that's probably it. Could also be just I'm missing some misinterpreting a completely different sound as that. Revenge, bitch. <laughs> I love that you can essentially just sneak up on them. Oh. Well then. I hear something screeching out there. Oh, you're, you're those guys back there. Hello there. You missed by a mile, and also you're now on fire. So good luck to that. I don't. And that's how you finish off the with style. Carry him with uh, your own demon, and then stab him while they're down. Wait, can I open this door? No, but I can go down here. Belly flop! I'm even not even taking the stairs, any the ladders anymore, I'm just belly flopping down. Interesting. So that's how I get down here. That fool thought they could keep all this to themselves, but now it's yours. And now you're dead. Also, open says me. Interesting. Very interesting. You've got a lot of purple on you. You've got a lot of purple stuff on you. And I don't just mean the green thing. Right next to Sunny D. Stompy, stompy. And you're dead. 
Alright, anyways, what you got? What you got on you? Cooley O1. Cut down by the So. So. I am? Is that the dude? The. Luke. Luke. Yeah. Dude in, in the mask and black fur. Either way, if you're using another Seething Dragon side, I am. Uh, this is gonna be an. That may not be Seething Dragon side. And he's down. Iron Switchblade. Okay, no, that was definitely not what I thought it would be. Beaten to death by Gaki. What? This is a Gaki. Seriously? I was kind of expecting a bigger badass to fight, not you. Ow. And he's dead. Calculating Sada Yoshi. Okay. Alrighty. Gimme. Inside. The Soldier Spear, Large Spirit Stone, Paralysis, Om Oman Ma Mori. Oman Ma 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 Mori. What the hell? Oh. Oh, that's just getting logged. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, you're just a friendly summon. Never mind, I don't want to use friendly summons just yet. I may use friendly summons on the boss if he's being a pain in the ass. Also, Alright, got all the Kodamas. Kodama, Kodama, Kodama. Climbing on up, down, 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 down. Take it on out. Ow, fuck. Got me. What the hell sees me? Should I jump down into this? Of course I can. Of course I will. Well then. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Right, 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 right. What was that? I thought there was no supposed to be no one in here. Alright. Well.
Let's see, is there anything I can put on real quick that's longer? Shut up. I know what some people are thinking. Why is it? Oh, is it because I'm in the dark realm? Hello. And I'm dead. Freed from this mortal coil. Coil. Squeezed to death by the. I'm not even gonna try and say that right now, especially since I just died and I can't see anymore. Anyways. Going on up, down, 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 down. down. He's dead. Going on down to the city. Alright, big boy. Where are you? Try and save us. But, don't want to. Especially since you killed me. I've earned it. Alright, Herbal Remedy, Ronin Gauntlet, Ronin, Ronin, and Ronin. Oh, geez. I had no idea Ronin was in here. And he left so much of his armor around. Longbow and so on. How's this? Oh, never mind. This some loser who got caught on fire. Come on. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work on big demons. Or on demons in general. Take the Okai for the floor. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to the shrine to do that. Also, I think I've gotten everything important in here. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Gotta get this real quick. Run a space plate, six spear, and arrow. Kita. I'll fight you. Just see if I can get that purple spear. Dude, you're on fire. Stop drop and roll. Or just let me beat the hell out of you and stomp on you. Why can't you shake this feeling that someone's watching you? Probably because there's someone watching you right over here. What did you do? Crush to death by 
Niri Kabe for his hostile behavior. Dude, you're a dumbass. Also hostile behavior. What's up, boy? Let's see. High five. Okay. Don't want high five. Uh, hang on. Give me a second. Uh. Alright, thank you. Ooh. I'll take that. Why do you guys always throw bombs right out the gate? Nose dive Yotaro. Sod and Yota. What? This one drowned. And this one got killed by the near near that yeah, Nuri Kabe. After a long oh wait. One D&D story I want you want to play out is a war between Tiamat, the god of chromatic dragons, and Bahamut, the god of metallic dragons. Basically, Tiamat has waged war on the mortal plane and the astral plane, killing a lot of the gods and the remaining gods that give their power to Bahamut to fight his sister coming to a standstill. Here, walk right into that. Literally. After a long standstill, Ard Ardior, the dragon god of the gym dragons and a god of psionics, comes to into the play as a neutral party and is slowly making the mortal races psionic. The goal of the players would be to convince the gym dragons to join on the side. Join on side. Or the other to tip. Join one side or the other to tip the scales for a side side to win the war in their favor. My main trouble is I'm having a hard time coming up with side quests to fill the world. Fair enough. That does seem like it would be a bit of trouble. Let's see. Let's just see. But yeah, uh, the main quest you already kind of have an idea for. Problem is, what else will be going on at that same time? About, you know, making it seem too unrelated. Hmm. Hello? You're shot by down by the skeleton warrior. Dude, it's like. Not that. Never mind. Oh, right, 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 right. Cat. Speaking of cat uh, mythology. And legends. Where is the thing gay? Shut up. Go somewhere else. You guys can leave me alone. Go in. Here we go. You might have at least one thing for Hot Rod. If it's okay. Go ahead, folks. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're giving suggestions for quests or side quests? Do not let me uh, get in your way. Hey, big buddy. Anything, really.
Oh, hey. See? There's the water. Ow. Ow. Stop stepping on me. Oh, fuck. Offer some downtime offerings as well. Like maybe there's they're coming across a town holding a week-long festival. The group is enjoying it, and if they stay for the entire thing, maybe there's a couple of competitions like a beauty contest or something to determine a king, queen, or king or some of something. Maybe one of each. But on the final day, the festival ends with them being sacrificed to some god or being a creature. Bonus points if one of your party or members ends up winning the contest and ends up being one of the ones on the sacrificial platter. And it turns out the entire festival was to cel celebrate life and give whoever is being sacrificed a good time. Now that, Bubbles, sounds awesome. That is a really good story. Or side story, or whatever you want to call it. Because I, I would love that just to see how all that goes down, especially if my character wins. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Hot Rod, sounds like you've got a winner. <laughs> oh yeah, hot rod. You're gonna have to keep keep bubbles and loop on that for sure. And me too. I actually would want to. I will actually want to know what happens. Ow. Fine then. You want to fight? Let's fight. No, you don't. Ah. Um, Ow, rolled into that one. 
Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh god damn it. Come on. Let's go. Ow. Don't knock close enough. And I'm on fire again. Okay, no more pillars with uh, water. Thing. And I'm dead. Again. Nera, you are one raggedy bitch. And I'm coming for that booty. And whatever else you drop. No round in ecstasy, so don't stop me now. Don't stop me, cause I'm having a good time, having a good time, a shooting star and through the sky like a tiger, buying the laws of gravity. I'm a racing car, passing by like Lady Godiva. I gotta go, go, go. There's no stopping me. Burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Having a ball. Don't Stop me now if you want to have a good time Give me a call Don't stop me now Good time Don't stop me So that's a good time I don't want to stop it all Yeah, I'm a rocket My way to Mars On a collision course I am sad a lot I'm out of control I'm a sex machine ready to reload I can add a bomb I gotta go, 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 there's no stopping me. Oh. The sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why I call this the barren high. I'm traveling at the speed of light, I wanna make a supersonic companion. Don't stop me, stop me, hey, 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 don't stop me, don't stop me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. I'm gonna stop it. Stop it. Running through the sky, yeah. Two hundred degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Damn it. Good time. Don't stop me now. I'm alive. Don't stop me if yes, I'm having a good time. I don't wanna stop it all. And there we go. Wish my uh, rendition of Don't Stop Me Now went a little bit better, but I'm kind of a bit of a. I'm a bit busy right now. So my focus was a bit broken. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm dead. And then you need a upon the tarries of that tree. Gotta go the other way because I went the wrong way again. Ooh. 
Change. Oh, hey, hello. You're off. Going somewhere else. In the front door. This is a terrible idea. And I'm dead again. Holy crap, I'm hating this guy. Especially since it didn't take me this many retries. First time. Oh, no, I'm trying this time. Other way again, because I went ran right past it. You're off, I guess. A bigger, yeah, bigger fish to fry. Fine then. Have it your way. Where are my damn water talismans? Amulets. What do you want to call them? There you are. How the hell did you die to a gawky?
not dead. But it's probably not gonna be for very long. Wait, hang on. I think I might be good. Soul cores, a tune soul core. Never a cup there. Ooh, very interesting. Damn it. Oh well, do that. How much are you? How much do you cost? To cost. Oh my god, this has got to be your, your creative. This has got your creative juices floor, flowing. <laughs> We're going. And more, a sapphire gem dragon is constantly waging war against the far realms. So the King Queen may be the winner of a psionic competition, where the winner will be recruited for their army, leading to an audience with the sapphire gem dragon. A side quest feeding into the main quest. Oh, you're. That. Sounds good. That sounds very good. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely like the sound of that one. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I actually like that. I like that one a lot. Four, two. Nope, not there. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Oh wait, you. Well, you. I will use. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Two minute cost. Two minute limit. God damn it, I need six. No, wait, seven. Wait. <clears throat> I need some that's worth six. Got nothing that's worth six. Great. Select. 
and perform a little fusion. There we go. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Ah, fucking hell. Oh, hey. Killed by Rogue. Oh, I think I might know what was making that sound earlier now. I may have been hearing uh, sounds of wood or beams shifting in the, in the, in the building earlier. Hey, motherfucker. Guess who's back? Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time, and then I'm just calling it. By the way. Fuck off, fuck off. I love you just fuck off. Stop doing that. Hello. Hello. I don't have any more of those things. How does stamina get dunked on, even? Yep, but 
He's finally getting whittled away. Come on, boy. Go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Yeah, I don't even want to hear it. You had your moment to talk and you just want to fight. Ah, uh, finally. We are done. So. We'll talk about this once we get out of here, okay? Alright, let's chat over a nice hot meal, okay? You mean burn in hell, but you think it's used to that. Mmm, fair. That's a very fair point. So, he can go to hell. He can go to hell and he die. Moral of the story is, you're not enemies. And why are you traipsing around with a yokai in the first place? Me, I'm not going to be like the sun blazing high in the sky. Sounds like quite the scam. I mean, I'll be so strong no one will else will have a chance. And I just want to slay Yokai, nothing more, nothing less. Hold on. Look, I can see you have your doubts, but maybe this will... out of my way. Listen, join us. More where that came, came from. What is this, pocket change? You insult me. Next time I see that thing, I'll ta it'll taste my plate. Look, lady, I am not your enemy, but if you want to be enemies, you'll be enemies. And I can already sense a fight in the future. So that'll be fun. Yay! That woman was a samurai, but then, who the hell was she? Well then, well, with moves like that, she's definitely someone you want on your side for sure. That's for sure. Anyways... At least we're done with Master Dulsong's request. But let's not stop now. We need to find ourselves more spirit stone. We need to stay sharp. I've got a feeling we're going to run into more trouble along the way. I'm counting on you, Hitty. Alright, Soul Core's pure fighting can now be a tomb. Of course you would be worth six. What? Oh god damn it, like too many costs of mine. Mm. Wait, I have two Nurkabe souls? Oh wait, no I don't. <sighs> Way of the Warrior. Following titles, ba 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 da ba ba da ba. All right. Well, that's all she wrote. So we shall write further later. Ah. Uh. 
Oh my god, I'm finally done. Not that I hate streaming, mind you. It's just that I'm finally done with that mission. I did not want to go on for that long. But, now that we're done, let's go ahead and find someone to raid. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Always happy to stream. And, yeah, if a uh, bubble is still in there, is in, still in here, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that you uh, are very interested in that in that idea. So, well, you know who she is. In fact, let's go ahead and do this real quick. If you want to follow her and keep up, keep up with her, there she is. So, without further ado, let us find someone to raid. Who all is on tonight? Oh, well, everything just shifted around, so let's take a look at the new list. Who's on now? The new version of Who's on First. That alone is worth a follow. Good to know. And by the way, she does stream rather often. At least, uh, seems like two, three times a week, I think. And she also has some stuff coming up. She's basically, she, as she likes to put it, actually, now I'm going to leave that for her to say when you, when you dropped in. Let's just say she's got some big stuff coming up. So, have fun with that. And let's also find someone to raid. Because I have been here for so long, and I gotta go do some stuff. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Who's available right now? Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. I came in to put on Dun, 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 dun. You'll see, see me in her streams? Alrighty. Well, hope you have fun. Have some, yeah. Hope you have some fun in there, but speaking from experience, I can almost guarantee it. You are going to enjoy it in there. Now then. Damn, there is. have so many choices here. Um, hmm. Also, I have, have no idea how many people are here. Oh. Well, that's more than I expected. All right, then. Hmm. I want to raid someone I have not raided before. But I'm also somewhat familiar with. Oh, hey, there's someone I actually almost never get to raid. Uh, some of y'all will like him too. We are going to be raiding a little, well, not a little, a big old. Actually, I'm trying to think of a way to put this right. Okay, a really cool dude by the name of Grim. He's slap. He is, uh, put it. How do I put it? I guess the best way is to say a horror slasher VTuber. So we are going to be rating. F. Grim, and I do not get to pop in there often enough, so I'm glad to be able to do this. 
Now then, remember, everyone, stay safe, have fun, drink lots of water, be nice, everyone. Be nice. Just be nice. You don't have to be nice, everyone. Just be nice when called for. And by the way, at least to give Graham a chance. Some of y'all may love it there. Can't guarantee that he's going to be for everyone, but I think some of y'all will love him. And every now and then he does a... I don't even think it's every now and then. I think he does it every once, like once a week. He does a horror movie stream where he like does a, a what do you want to call them? Viewings or whatever of a like trailers and so on of horror movies, both uh, old ones and like does commentary on them. I could do this so much better if I hadn't been here for longer than I intended to. So, but my brain is fried. So, anyways, have a good night. Stick around for just a bit to give him a look, get a bit of an idea of what it's like there. And, well, stay safe. Bye bye.